Well, this, there's a bloody rat in my shed somewhere. I just caught a glimpse of him just running across the bench when I come down to grab the GoPro. Sort him out next time more before he chews everything up. Anyway, this episode isn't going to be too much, just a bit of a rundown of what I've been getting up to and what's been going on. A uh, big shout out to my mate Jamie, from who works up at Paint and Colour in Toowoomba there. He came down and helped me get the dodge all sorted with my uh, Raptor liner. Cheers mate, appreciate it. Um, he also painted my old purple patrol when I had it. And no doubt if I ever decide to put paint on this old rocket he'll be doing, he'll be doing it as well. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll just get into it and show you what's been going on. How chunky do you want it? Uh, whatever. How's your trailer to wash? Hey. How's your trailer to wash? Like when uh, it's, it's dirty? Black. It's black, it is a little bit harder than usual. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Black's probably the worst colour. Yeah. Unfortunately. Won't spend too long on this piece, but as you can see, I've cut that floor out, drilled the holes, so I can spot weld through onto the subframe. And just take a bit of beating with the hammer, and that'll be that bit done. So gone through and buffed all these back as you've seen, painted them, rust killed them. So I'm just gonna see if she's gonna bolt back up again. That's if I can find all the correct bolts again. Well, that's the front end bolted on. All lines up. Although I've still got to put in the two centre bolts underneath these ones. As they give them a bit of a touch up when I was hitting them out. I can probably... um. Just re-tap that one, but the other one is actually snapped off. So, yeah. <coughs> and I made a boo-boo over here. When I cut the panel, I originally sat it down, marked it all out, 
and then thought, oh no, that's shit house, I'll remark that. But then I went upstairs, a few days later I came back to the shed and seen I already had it marked out and cut it out. Only remembering afterwards when I test fitted the piece that, oh shit, that's right, I was going to remark that. So I'm going to have to make a little filler piece. Anyway, sometimes that happens, I guess. I guess the big thing is, is once you start something, finish that section off before you go back. Or if you do have to pause, just take a moment to refresh and make sure everything's right before you go back into it again. Um, so I rang that front end person who's getting my front end. <coughs> and it should be getting posted. So, it's only been, I don't know, nine months, but anyway, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, but you know, you do start to get a little bit wary about what's going on, especially when you're paid in full and you haven't received it. Um, yeah, but we're slowly getting there. I think I'll finish off this piece, then I'll go down into doing this piece. I've done that floor over there. Next up I'll do, do this, this back one. Yeah. Crikey, just never end. Definitely won't be doing this again. See if this old girl will start. She's a little bit temperamental sometimes when she hasn't been run for a while. little bit of something something just to help it come to life try not to use this stuff too much it's not real friendly to your engine let's see what we get going here Might have to open her up and give her a spray. All right. Quickly get in before it disperses. Come on, old girl. You can do it. That's it. Ah, there we go. Oh, item might be a little low. Come on. This is a bit... Sit there. Oh, I nearly just pushed the GoPro into the fan then. That would have sucked. Anyway, there we have it. Now I take the old girl for a burn. I think it's just teaching me a bit of a lesson there to 
not leave it sit so long between runs. It's probably been, I don't know, sitting there for probably over, well basically since I've done the video on it. That was when it's been sitting there since then. So I don't know how long that's oh. since I've done that video, but yeah, that's it. I've got the damn gear stick lock on. There we go. this time eh? but I did make this cool little stand for my angle grinders on wheels and everything just a quick 10 minute job before the end of the end of the day um, yeah so not much got done here as you would have seen probably place the floor forgot what I was up to cut the panel out before I realized I needed to remark it again so got a gap there to fill up. Um, yeah. But there's been other stuff going on. Um, I don't know if you remember me big fella, me big dog. Oh, well, he's no longer with us. Well, he is. He's up on the shelf there now. His old rug and dog dishes. Nine years I had that big fella. A little bit different, burning around, not having him kicking around in the background, that's for sure. Um, other stuff going on is, well, I had to get the little fella's bike running, and it's running quite good now. Carby was all gunked up. Um, this here, I need to really get, get stuck into this, or sell it, do something with it. It's giving me the shits just sitting in here. Um, or what originally gave me the shits is the um, these headers. So I bought them. Um, they're HKTG, but they're absolutely rubbish. They're probably more. They're, um, they'd probably suit a straight plug more than an angle plug, because as you, I don't know if you can see, but that plug wire down there is hard against the extract a tube because of the angle plug. If it was straight, it would probably clear it. Um, I think this side's actually okay. Yeah. So, I've ordered new ones of those. Um, yeah. But that sort of annoyed me a bit. <clears throat> and the starter motor was playing up, so I got another starter motor Put the starter motor, um, let me see if we've got a trolley here, and I roll under there. What's it doing? Oh, it's sitting over there. Um, so, I'll just quickly show what's going on here. Uh, so, my block has a bolt here and a bolt there it didn't have this 
other bolt. So I drilled and tapped it whilst being lying on the ground. I should have not been a slack ass and put it up on the hoist and done it. But anyway, it's every now and then the starter throws out and binds on it a little bit. So I'll have to get some shims just to space it out, just to space it from the flywheel just a little bit more or drill this hole out a little bit bigger and let the starter roll just to bring it out that poof dent. Although, I shouldn't say poof dent, it's probably uh, offend people a little bit. Space that a little bit. Um, big Dodge, we painted her in um, that Raptor bed liner so it's all dry and, you know, hell durable. Some washers. Doesn't even care. Imagine going up to someone's car and doing that to their paint. You might have a fist bite on your hands. Yeah, so... It's all ready to rub trees and hit some tracks. It looks hell cool. Oh, and I took the um, jewelry wheels off and just put the um, singles on it, which are killer. The front of it are just spaces that you unbolt off the front hubs and then you just put those wheels on and the rears you just take off and bolt your singles on. Now, let's go grab me little fella. <clears throat> so there's actually, you know, oh, just don't finish doing dad duties. So I've actually got a Muncie and a shifter and bell housing there. And then, I don't know if you can see, just there. i actually got another one from a different deal. So I've got two to choose from. But the second one I got actually had the master cylinder and the clutch pedal and slave cylinder and the lines and a whole a whole deal. Bye mate. Um yeah. So that'll be for this jigger. Friggin' thing. Need a bit of a kick in the ass for leaving this sit so long. Probably said that in the last video. Anyway, sometimes mm, that brake's dragging a bit too. It well, looks. <sighs> Add it to the lift. I actually need like a whiteboard to pin behind each each car. I'd need a really big whiteboard for that bugger. But um. Of things needed. <coughs> I think I need a bit of garage sale too. Get rid of some of this extra stuff. Like there's two of those sass seats. There's one there and there's one over in my other shed. All them spare Valiant doors. I mean, all these what if cases. I mean, this old girl never gets out, let alone get dented. Just all these extra Oh, you know, one day, like, Clevo, Hemi, Hemi, GQ transfer case, Clevo heads, well, one of those sets of heads, I think it might be those black ones, has that valve, when that motor dropped the valve that time, has a valve wedged, wedged in it. Give it the big hello. Yeah, that one. Huh, it was an exhaust valve. That's, um, yeah. Anyway. One of those things. Me boat, the boat that pulls that, 
Is that a shop getting fixed? It's got a broken transom shield on it. All these broken things. I started to have a look at the boat and then I went, bugger this, screw boats. Someone else can deal with these. Rather than me pretending to know what I'm doing with the boat, I'll send it to someone who actually does know what they're doing. Because if the boat stops on me, well it's not as simple as just pulling over to the side of the road and call your buddy up. <laughs> it's sit there in the middle of who knows where with current pushing you here, there and everywhere and it's too big to try and paddle somewhere. So I'm make sure it's done right. Not that I was saying I wouldn't do it right, it's just that it's um, a shit job and I didn't want to do it. And it'd take me twice as long as someone who actually does it for a living. Um, so what else was I going to talk about? That's right. Got some bikes that I will be tinkering with as well, just uh, when I get sick of cars. Um, these are all 85 models. So it's a 85 XR250, 85 XR250, 85 XR600. 250 is mostly complete. All it's missing is um, side plastics for this one. That one's missing everything you can see. This one is complete bike, bar I'm missing the 85 had a one or two year only electronic dash. Now as you can imagine, 1985 electronics weren't the best so they broke and everyone threw them away. But to try and track one down the side, I think I already said it, side plastics are right there for this. Um, now I have fired that bike and I fired this bike. This bike runs just, but the intake manifold there is broken, so it sucks air, which obviously sends the mixture to hell and runs like ass. Make it run hell clean from all there. And this one I need to pull off and give the carbies a good clean out and find the find some clamps to put the exhaust on. Ugh. But that's yeah stuff I'll be doing off camera. Well that's the airbox set up off the dodge. That is actually ridiculously heavy. Not that you'd notice it on the dodge. Um, the headboard off the dodge. Um, I was doing some work to the tray so I pulled the headboard off. And the exhaust system. I think I might have give you a rundown on how it goes. It's got the little brackets that hold it and the bolt that wedges it so these won't get hot. And by having this pipe recessed and giving it that bit of an air gap there, it should make a low pressure area on the outside and draw cool air up through them. Like a Venturi effect, hopefully. I might have to cut them down a little bit lower to give it more length to draw air. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so check out my TIG welding. Nah, as if that's not me. That's um, one of my friend's shops. Uh, Gonzo's Racing Pipe's done that, done, made this piece for me. And then he got me all the pieces to do this. This is me. Nowhere near as flash. That there's me tacking it together with just a normal MIG. That's why it's all shitty. This is where I started. So sh shitty, shitty, shitty. That's all dirt. And then as I come around, I get progressively better. The same thing where I spot welded it. And then coming around. <clears throat> and yeah, it's all on the inside as well. I tried to do aluminium. Holy smoke, I don't know if it's because my aluminium was so dirty and was outside for so long. 
I could give it a hit with a um, stainless wire brush, like scrub the hell out of it, but it was still real shitty and black and sort of hate it. Wire brush, I'd hate it, wire brush. Still try and do it, nah, rubbish. So, and it was just a little grab handle to extend for me kid's balance bike because it was getting a bit hard on the back, bending over, holding him. Just made a little handle that come up from the back across and down that I could just hang on to and walk behind him. <coughs> Ended up just banging a heap of filler right on it and then just using the torch to sort of mould it in everywhere. Um, yeah, probably have to get someone to come around and give me a hand with that. Um, yeah, don't know what else to do other than Sorry shit's taking so long, but a bit going on. Uh, yeah. Right on.